Hi, welcome to Robin's Roost, or once again, Robin's Mobile Roost. Today I'm in St. Augustine, Florida, and it's a little bit cold here after being in Southern Florida. So um, I'm starting to slowly get acclimated to um, going back to Minnesota. But today we are going to make this fun hidden slider shark frenzy card. So you can see it's got the little little um, slider activation um, thing here, and it's hidden. You're not you're not seeing how he's sliding. So that's why we're calling it a hidden slider card. So it's really fun, and let's get started making our card. So let's start with the um, pieces of cardstock that we're going to need to assemble this card. So we're going to start with a base that is five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter and that's pool party. I've got a couple of scraps of uh, basic white here that we're going to do our stamping for our sharks. Then we have our our bottom layer, let's call it. It's white and it's three and a half by four and three fourths. You could also use one of the um, stitched rectangle framelits. It'd be the second largest one if you wanted to use a framelit to cut that out. And then we have three pieces of Pacific Point. We have one that's going to be the big wave in the front and that one is two by four and three fourths. And then we have our um, slider base where we're going to cut our slot for the slider. And that one is one and a quarter by four and three fourths. And then we have our little pull tab that's going to um, make the movement happen. And that one is a half inch by five and a quarter. And then we have our wave in the background that is pool party. And that one is one and a quarter by four and three fourths. And I will have all of these measurements on my blog post that, that matches this video. So let's do our stamping first. Now we don't want to forget on the card base we've got the little um, water bubbles or air bubbles. And if you forget them, it's kind of tricky to get it stamped. So let's take our Pacific Point ink and the little um, it's the little three little water dots, and we're just going to go all around the edges. Then we can set that to the side and take our scrap pieces of white. And I, I wasn't sure if I uh, had enough, so I took two different ones. And I'm going to start with the uh, tuxedo black and do the outlines. Now you could do the outlines in the same color as the uh, sharks as well. So we've got our mama shark. And I like to, to do her little eye, um, eyelashes before I do her color because it's easier to see where to place it. And then we've got our baby shark. And I'll have to do him on this other piece. So then we are done with the black. Now I'm going to do the baby shark in the Pacific Point, and then the mama shark with the um, pretty peacock. And these are actually fairly easy to line up to do your fill in stamping on the sharks. Okay, so we are done with this for now. Now you could just um, stamp this directly on here, but if you wanted to give her <clears throat> a little texture to make her look older, there's another way you can do this. So you can take the, the little um, bubble stamp and just go ahead and you don't ink it up or anything. You just take and press it on and then clean it on your um, chamois and press it on clean it on your chamois and keep doing that 
Now I left her eye area, um, she's got the little uh, fin there, so I didn't do it there. But you can just go ahead and you, what you're doing is you're taking ink off. So it's going to give her a little bit of texture on her hide. And if you don't like that look, just don't do it and go ahead and stamp her um, directly without doing the dots. But I just wanted to show you another way to give her some texture. <clears throat> so then we're going to have to die cut those. I'm just going to set them off to the side while we finish our stamping. Now the little slider piece has got to have some words on it and also the square in the background. So we've got our, our little doot, 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 doot words. Now for up here, you're only going to ink four of the words and the dots. So I like to just um, put it on the edge of the ink pad and ink it up. And you're going to want these pretty close to the top. And this one, when you ink it, leave a little bit of space to add our tab, and then you'll ink up the whole the whole line of the, the words and put it on the right edge, but leaving leaving a little bit here because we're gonna do that little tab so that we can hold it easier. Now we are done with our stamping. So these these two pieces are going to get embossed with um, with the old world paper embossing folder so that they have a little bit of texture. And then this piece here is going to get embossed with the um, seaside shells embossing folder. So I want the um, this the leafy seaweed in there. So I will be right back in a minute after I have die cut our sharks and embossed these pieces. So now we have all of our pieces that have been embossed and cut and we did cut the the little um, wave die cut and you want to cut that first before embossing. And if you have trouble with your embossing folders on your die cutter, just use um, some pieces of cardstock to make your layers correct so that you can actually get a nice emboss. Now, this one didn't quite cut all the way, so we're just going to snip the edges. And you're going to keep you're going to keep this part that you cut off because you're going to use one of those little loopies, these little semicircles for your pull. So just set that off to the side. You're going to use that again. Now we need to cut our slot in here for the um, for the little shark to slide on. And I'm just using the um, I think it's called the classic label punch. If you had a, um, a die that has a slider in it, you could use that too. Now I'm just going to kind of eyeball it and put this in the center and I, I'm leaving about I don't know is that a quarter inch maybe on the edge enough so that I can see it and we're actually going to use this piece too so set that off to the side that's going to be your um your tab for the baby shark and then leave about the same amount on the other end you know right here and you're just gonna line this up and punch it again so that you have the slot that goes all the way across. Now, if you didn't get these lined up exactly, which sometimes I don't when I do it, just take a, a paper snip and go ahead and smooth that off so there isn't a place for the, um, for the little piece to catch when it's sliding back and forth. Now we're going to assemble everything. And I like to kind of lay it out first 
just so that I can um, see if I need to make any adjustments. So you can see I maybe could have stamped a little bit more here for my bubbles. So if you wanted to, you could go ahead and add a few more down on the bottom here. So this is going to go on the bottom, then our, our top wave is going to go here, and I think I might want to snip that a little bit more. This slider goes in here, and our top piece is going to go here. So it looks like everything is, is layering pretty good. Oh, and we've got our, our little uh, fishies. He's going to have this little stick that he's going to going to go on and this one's going to just tuck in right there. So everything looks like it's it's layered pretty good. Just going to give these waves here a little snip on the edge so they aren't quite so square. Now this piece is going to get adhered with our um, foam strips going this direction. So for this piece, it's going to take that a half of one of these. You can either cut them or just lay them on here. You might want to keep it just a little bit um, back from the edge so you don't see them as much on your card. And you're going to want it um, you know, this is going to have to slide in here, so you want to make sure that you have room for that to slide. And I maybe could have just cut it perfectly in half, and then I wouldn't have this little piece left. But So that's going to fit like that. And of course, don't stick your paper to the, to the glue. Okay, so... You want to have that slide right in there. Let's take this off here for now. This is going to get lined up right on the bottom. And then let's glue our little shark to his stick. And while he's drying, ooh, we can glue Mama Shark down too, and this piece. So we've got our waves, and these are just going to sit bumped right against this piece. And Mama Shark is going to tuck right in here. Let's see, I think I have up too high. And Mama Shark can, can kind of go a little bit over. And this little guy is going to get attached with a... Um, with the glue dot right there. So you want it, so that's the glue dot, or the, I'm sorry, the dimensional is what's going to stop him from sliding out of the um, slot. So 
so you can see that will stop him from going too far that way. Let's make sure how high we want him to be. We don't want him under the waves. Now when we adhere this, this final um, top layer of waves, we're going to put the um, strips this direction. And just line everything up on the bottom edge. Oh, first you have to take the paper off. And then go ahead and line it all up. And then you'll see he will bounce along on the waves. And we're going to take one of these little garbage pieces from the wave when we cut that. We're just going to snip it off. And we're going to adhere this on here to make it easier to pull the, um, the slider out. So we can just take, take and put another um, dimensional on here. And that'll make it easier to pull. And there is our fun shark frenzy slider card. Now this technique would also work really cool with the whale or the kangaroo or even the ride the range um, stamp set that Stampin' Up! has right now. So hope you've enjoyed this card and have fun making a hidden slider. Thanks for stopping and I'll have my link below if you wanted to pick up any of the products to make this card.